like maybe like two or three weeks now, I want to say. That's, a, that's like a whole year in Smash time. Yeah, that, <laughs> it's funny because I'm hip was like super on the grind, but I mean, maybe he had some schoolwork, you know, like finals and stuff like that. So I definitely understand that and I respect that grind for sure. But now, you know, he's back. He's keeping his seat, winner semis. That's right. Got Nitro and Slayers. Nitro with a pretty big upset over Nico, which I was probably the first seed of this tournament. Yeah, I, or at least top three for sure, guaranteed top three. Just by based off how the bracket is, they he had to be the first seed. Yeah, and because I know Leon was second seed. Oh man, I'm like looking at this bracket and I'm like, I'm gonna commentate this. And like, oh, oh, was it one of those nights? Yeah. <laughs> well. Red Bull definitely gives you wings and gives you a uh, gives you strength. Carries you through the through these late brackets, through these Thursday morning fights. I remember when Thursday morning fights first started. They were glorious. Hey, Red Bull, please. For me, a Red Bull, <laughs> a Red Bull. <laughs> if, if they have the yellow flavor one, give me that. Nice. Oh, I, I think I think he thought you were paying him back. I already paid him his fight all Oh, maybe he thought you were paying him for more. <laughs> maybe. You know, he's paying it forward for the next time you get a quesadilla. These fries look good, man. To the right. See that? No, oh, over here. Oh, over there. Dude, they, they, I'm gonna be honest. They just put fries. Yeah. Uh, they even look under fried. Yeah, they, they do. But, like, I'm so hungry right now. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll Dang, just get dirty the director <laughs> said no. He usually gets garlic fries. That's why I thought it wasn't his. Yeah, well, well that's temptation. Hobby is a man of many fries. Do you, do you know the story about Hobby's birthday and the chicken nugget fiasco? No. So it's called the chicken nugget fiasco because he received over 100 chicken nuggets on his birthday. So from different places. Because this man would always talk about chicken nuggets like 20 That's right. So we gave him over a hundred dollars. Yeah, a hundred dollars worth of chicken nuggets. I and now he doesn't like chicken nuggets. I remember right after Starcraft 2 came out, <laughs> in like a five-hour period, I had um, I ate a hundred nuggets. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just wanted to do it. I was visiting. Oh, okay, okay. I was visiting my friends in Ohio. My World of Warcraft guild. Oh, okay. And uh, shout out to Well. Yeah, shout out to Well. I was just playing StarCraft 2 on my computer at one of my friends' house. And we went out late at night, and like they don't sell, well, this was like a long time ago, they, they, in Hawaii they only sell like 10 or 20 nuggets at a time, but then they were selling, like that is deal on a like, box of 50 nuggets. So I was like, whoa, I can buy like, how much was it up? Like 10 bucks? Something like super cheap. Wow. And I was like, wow, like 10 or 15 dollars for 50 nuggets? Like I'm getting 100 nuggets and I'm eating all of them. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I can respect that. I, there was a moment when I was in college that I loved the McDonald's apple pie. I loved, I absolutely loved it. And one time I rolled up through the drive-thru and I said, give me all your apple pies. All of them. And I ended up getting 22 apple pies. Because, you know, we were going to a bonfire. I had to bring a snack. I had to bring something. Yeah. I had to contribute. You're in college, I was like, you, know, you know can't what? afford like the craziest thing. F it. We're getting McDonald's apple pies. Two for a buck. Hell yeah, give me all of them. Give me all your apple pies. Excuse <laughs> me, sir? How do I all hold of them? <laughs> How do I hold the apple pies? How do I hold this? Alright, so. Three, two, it is one, definitely 0-0 zero, zero right now. Yes, 0-0, zero, zero, and we have Eon versus I'm Hip, who is actually rocking his fox. Yeah, he's a rocking fox instead of the Pichu, which, uh, He's been really seeing at the at the bigger events. Yeah, and I mean I don't what that hit him. Wow, that down air hits so low and like Fox isn't that tall of a character. Yeah, it's just you know that extension of the pigment. I do think that this matchup is either slight Fox favor or even thank you, Bart. Um, um Almar's head. Olimar has a really bad ledge hang, so when he's hanging on the ledge, his uh, his helmet peaks above the top. So Fox can actually, when he does run out of intangibility, Fox can down tilt. One of the few characters to do that with. Like, see how bad that ledge hang is? Yeah. So because of that, Olimar can't really hang on the ledge too long. Ooh. Wow. 
Wow, good TI. Thought, wow, he's living. Yeah, that's crazy. He didn't die from that. I was like, for sure, thought he was dead. Like, Almar's so, so light. It's that, that extra weight in that glass helmet really adds a, a factor. Yeah, it adds a couple pounds. Ooh, rolls, but Eon going to run shield. But going to get the run back on that up smash. Eon going to take this first off. Yeah, just the matchup in general, you would, you would think it would be a little bit in Fox's favor just because of the you know, shine is, is a factor. Um, up smash being such a strong kill move. Yeah. And then, like just you were saying, the, just having a bad ledge hang and allowing Fox to really pressure at the ledge, which he does, he can't really do in ultimate anymore. Like he couldn't smash for it. Right. Like he can still do it, but it's nowhere as oppressive as it was in Smash 4. Smash 4 was really not okay. <laughs> like it, it was just really, really strong. It was definitely like his strongest trait. I have only had one Pikmin, but it was the one Pikmin he needed. He made great use of that purple Pikmin. Up smash. Ooh, the whistle and the anti-air purple. Not getting the sweet spot, though. Getting a parry and doing an F smash instead of a down smash. So unfortunate for I'm hit. And that's going to cost him his stock. Yeah, I, I believe like there's very little advantage to actually parrying the side B. It's, it's almost better to just shield it and punish out the well, quick up throw is going to even up the stock with I'm Hit. Yeah, really good stuff from I'm Hit. Keeping that right up. Trying to look for this uh, up smash here. Not going to find it though. Eon just racking up his damage. Got I'm Hit right on the ledge. And he's making great use of nares and bears. Really keeping I'm Hit at the right side of the stage. You can see him swinging at Eon, but it's just not connecting. Very interesting, like, I'm Hip's going, like, after Jab, I'm Hip's going for a lot of, like, these smash attack resets. I'm pretty sure at lower percent you can just Jab, Jab, and a grab for guaranteed damage, but maybe he just wants, like, the, the reset possibly more damage. This should be the up smash, but I'm Hip able to get the tech out just before the up smash connects. Wow, this Pikmin did so much damage. Yeah, I'm Hip was able to latch a, a yellow and a red onto I'm Hip, which does a good amount of damage. I was, so, I was so surprised that you didn't. Uh, really kind of ditch one and try and start fishing for your purple. You know, start, start setting up for your kill setup. We still racking up more damage onto, onto Neon. Get off stage with that purple. The retaliating double jump up air. Not going to quite kill I'm hit. Almost did though. Ooh, and the up air, not even the purple, the blue up air. Going to take it, man. I'm, ever since I've seen Light take like two major sets with that rising up air at the ledge. I'm just terrified of foxes now. <laughs> yeah, it's just recovering. Like, if you're not going for fire foxes, you're not committing to illusion, I'm kind of like backing up. Yeah. Foxes uh, are crazy. And the up air is very strong too, so. Definitely something you have to respect. Yes, yes. That's actually, I mean, if it kills from that low, it's no wonder like it's Keep just getting vortex into a bear, up there, up there, and dying from that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, whoa. Okay. No, I'm him. Had I know over like a month ago he was working. Wait, that on was his game box. one, though, right? That was game Three, one. So two, it is uh, one. Go. One o. Oh, I'm hip. Did we? Oh, so we didn't commentate the first game. There was game? like a whole game that we missed. No, we were just talking about chicken nuggets <laughs> the entire time. Oh. <laughs> the entire time we're talking about chicken nuggets. Oh, yeah, we game. didn't even know there was a match going on. Okay, so it is one. All right. So. Okay, we, we didn't. All right, stream. We, we didn't see game one. <laughs> so we, we came in on game two, which is why we thought that. But, yes. Uh, wolf. I am was working on a wolf Dang, uh, a month put, ago. Put that wolf back in the pocket, though. Yeah, it's definitely not a good start for his wolf. But, hey, we got some damage on. All right, so it is 1-1. One, one. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. We're, we're, we're on it. Harry, you didn't get the turn on down there. That was so much damage. I mean, sometimes it's better to retrieve the reset back to neutral instead of throwing out something. Go oh, after a parry? Uh, but after yeah. you get the parry, you're like, dang, I want to do something. Cool. Like, come on. I just it's definitely something. the style move. That's, that's like a, the freeze frame, and it like, comes in on you. It's like, do something cool. But, you know, you know what's cool? Reset to be cool. That's definitely the stay in school of, uh, of the parry option. Oh, and the shine war begins. 
Yeah, I think at this point Eon's like, yeah, I could I could just like super cap it out, but besides just go in and get the good punish. Okay, look at the air dodge. Air dodge does happen with no punish. But good trap coming out from Eon. Yeah, I don't It's just I feel like I'm hit just so out of his comfort zone and I'm pretty sure that Eon is very good at this matchup. I'm pretty sure he wi fis with like other wolf players or even plays offline with other wolf players. He played Charlie's Wolf like at MSM a couple days ago. I feel like him and Charlie would still like practice together. Yeah, for sure. Right, so we got I'm hit back kill percent though. Okay, but you gonna be able to make it back with the wolf the firewolf. Tries to get some back air. Prime hit with some patience right now, jumping all over all the nonsense, landing a back air of his own. But the up smash does connect for Eon. Dropping high hit, stock down to one. Eon still has a fairly fresh second stock. Dang. I'm here to just try to kill him at 40. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> I mean, when you're down a whole stock, you, you definitely got to bring out the cheese. You got to bring out all your gimmicks. The swipes are coming out. The down smash. Do you think down smash is going to get next? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that back air is going to get next to Ooh, I'm going to slash in the air with the jab, though. But, ooh, air dodging with the left. Wait, uh, able to make it back. Getting a, jab, a couple jabs of his own. Wait a minute, dude. Is, is everyone... Sleeping on I'm Hip's Wolf? I definitely was sleeping after that first dog. I was like, oh dang, put that, put that wolf away. But I'm Hip, your, your wolf's pretty nice, man. Yeah, it gets a cross up there and he's able to take some space from wolf. Only to get grabbing up throw. Ooh, he's dropping. He's falling nares. So dangerous because especially being at 111%, you know I'm Eon is looking for the up smash. And look at this falling nair pressure. Like, I'm Hip knows it's coming. He knows he wants nair in the like, tech chase, but. You can't really do much about it, especially when you just have to shield up as well. You kind of have to move out of the way, but even then, it's so hard to work on it. Oh, there's the up smash, but gonna, Eon's going to get back around. Oh, I was like, wait, man. That looks the like only way you smash. Lose. Yeah, like the only way you lose here is just get hit by like some smash attack. And now he's at a pretty decent percent here. Oh, another Nair connects here. Right, down smash, S smash, both enough to take Eon's stock. Up smash, I don't think we'll do it quite yet. But still, that gives, like, puts I'm hip at a slight... It puts him back in the game. Oh, goes for the trump. Ooh, the forward tilt. Now we got Eon off stage. Ooh, Ooh, down smash. Down. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm hit mix up. I'm hit mix up. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to edge guard you. Nah. <laughs> Full hops. You'll never see it coming. You know what? No one saw it coming. Eon didn't see that up smash coming. Yeah. I have this double dab pressure. I hit whips it out. Nodding his head with the, with the grimace smile. Yeah, because he got zero to death <laughs> in the start of the he game. Did, he did get zero to death. <laughs> and he just slowly but surely brought it back. I mean, that sounds like I'm his style. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. If uh, he really dissects the way he plays, he definitely takes his time, plays his own tempo. Yeah. And then uh, we'll slowly bring it back. All right, so game number four here. I'm hip on the wolf, man. I'm tired of not killing people at 40%. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, if you have that option, why not? It's it's crazy too because I'm I'm hip didn't really even get any uh, like really early smash attack kills. I, I just feel like the the character he's just really good at neutralizing pressure and just utilizing that uh, blaster. So, I mean, even the blaster, he didn't really use it too often outside of, like, a certain distance. Oh, yeah. Like, he definitely used it, but he didn't, like, spam it. Yeah. He was very, he used it in a very smart situation. And even at distances where Eon could react to it. Oh, he grabbed him right out of that up smash. And that was the, uh, the winner for I'm Hit there, so you got to watch that. Watch this up smash. There's very little lag. There's the tech chase of forward smash that gets that world away. Uh, I have may have even been holding out just because uh, he was still scrolling to the right. Jab, solid 20%. Here. I guess the roll in from the up tilt not comboing into a sub, that would have been so much damage. Would have been dash attack in there from Neon. Ooh, get off your gun. Oh, yeah, the, the blade insurance, man. <laughs> it anti airs, you know, sometimes it catches people creeping a little too close, like the Swiss blade. Okay, well, Neon. 
looks like he's playing a little bit slower okay, here in game four. Yeah, I feel like he he like got the zero to death and like ooh, the ant hair on the up smash. Like he got the zero to death and it was kind of like, all right, I'm fine, I'm good. And then like I'm him slowed the pace down, but you know Eon kept trying to force that faster pace. I feel like that's definitely not gonna happen in the next game. Wow, the double, uh, yeah, the double, double triple, quadruple, quadruple. Head jump. <laughs> Ooh, calling out the jump. I mean, yeah, it's all speaking of jumps. Definitely caught that one there with that up air. Using that tech again. I mean, it is kind of difficult to deal with. Is it, is it difficult to deal with or is it cold? Control? It's, it's a little bit of both because of both. you don't expect your opponent to jump, jump, like, you know, ascend back into the air when he's falling to the ground. With no double jump. With no double jump. So it is smart play, but at the same time, the way he's using it is definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely some taunting in there, I think. <laughs> Right, yeah, see, if you, if you reflect the blaster at max range like that, then Wolf has a chance to reflect it back. But if it's mid-range, like, I don't think Wolf can reflect it back. Double dash attack coming from Eon. Ooh, that F smash. Yeah, oh, dang, I mean, now we're just whipping it out. Let's get these stocks rolling. Kill oh, option. Even adding a little bit of charge on it to yes. just wait out the spot dodge. Us just throwing out the kill options weren't good enough, so we had to charge the kill options. That's the mix up. <laughs> they both were, they throw like, like, I think like five or six kill options were like thrown out in a row. <laughs> but we're back to the last stock of these here, and we saw what I'm Hip can do when he just brings up the last stock slowly but surely. So can he on close this out? The 144%, you really only need one hit from a few different options. Oh no, oh, this oh. is no double jump. There's no double jump indeed. But down air and down smash, they're not going to connect, but a cross up back air does for Eon, and we have a game five. And what more can you ask for? Game five situation with I'm Hip and Eon. Does he stay Wolf? I don't think so. You switch back to Olimar here? I think you go back to Olimar. I mean, Wolf he does have, you, especially if you have the counter pick too. Yes. Like, you have the counter pick, you know you can play on a stage that you want to. Just Go with who you're comfortable with. Exactly. The wolf can work, but I always felt like uh, I'm Hip was playing from behind this wolf. So I feel like Almar, there's a chance that like he can get a solid lead and like really play his game. And like when you're playing I'm Hip style, it, it's even more effective when you have that. Lead. Not to mention that he just played a few games as wolf. So now your opponent needs to readjust to your to, to right. Olimar. Two, yeah. One. So, I mean, all, that's adaptation, that's, that's uh, memory. And those are a few factors that play into a game five situation. So we got Town and City, pretty big glass zones. Probably why I'm Hip chose it. There we go. Down throw into the dash tag, really great damage here. And we're also going to have a high ceiling, too. I, I feel like I'm Hip just wants to survive as long as he can. Just doesn't want to get like killed that up smash at like 80 or something. Which he should be able to survive here. Uh, on Town and City, but Eon is still going to play aggressive. Oh, he has to. He has yeah. to get in. He's going to stay in his face. But, you know, whenever a character is rushing down Olimar, he does have access to a few tools that do come out extremely quick, like the, the F tilt or the up tilt. Okay, I hit him in a land there. A little bit high recovery. Eon getting a couple lasers, but gets swatted out with the forward air. Directional air dodge onto the platform, making his way back to center stage. I'm hit holding that area down, just really abusing the stage control and the up air call out on that jump. I like the mix up from Eon on his recovery. He used illusion at an angle or at a height where it didn't look like you couldn't, it was really hard to tell if he was going to go for ledge or he was going to land right on the stage. But even so, I'm hit was ready for the follow up. Yeah, really, really impressive. And right now, can I hit attack on him more percent? Oh, he's got two purples as well. Oh, and the parry on this is going to be big damage. Doesn't get the second up there, though. Neon really lucking out there, but the shield push possibly? Okay, illusion into back air for Eon, allowing him to steal out that stock. Yep, only taking 42, not too bad. I mean, you kind of assume when you fight Olimar, right when your stock starts, like, all right, well, I'm probably going to get hit by the last match, so. <laughs> I'm probably already at, like, 40. I mean, up smash definitely equals 40% with the easy uh, confirm that or just the easy conversions you can get from the up smash. But a couple of nares in the rapid jab. This ledge trap, though, Eon definitely making it count. 
to up tilt. Tries to get the reset. Okay, but gonna punish that. I like that. Just dash dancing around, waiting for the whistles, because you know, I'm hit. All of our players in general, whenever they start getting combo, they start, they're gonna look for that armor to use the yeah, combo breaker. Wow, Illusion hits the shield, but ends up crossing up. Really saves Eon from that situation. Right, Big Ben on top of Eon. Oh, almost gets grabbed by that blue. I don't think he'll kill at this early percent, but just generally don't want to get grabbed by blue. Yeah, there would have been a back throw, and then it would have been Eon in a recovery position. Who knows why I'm able to throw out in that point. Oh, the anti up air. Again, I'm, I, I feel like uh, I'm hitting has such a good read on the jumps, but the up smash there, maybe Eon trying to get a jump read of his own, but not working out. I hit getting an up smash of his own. Now another up smash connects for onto Eon's shield. Look at this movie coming out from Eon. Man, oh man. And that's when you see uh, I hit get really aggressive right there. And just, man, he got like one reset, almost got another one. Air dodge. Whoa, whoa. The stall from the side. The stall was not enough to actually cool off Neon as he gets the ledge jump at the back air. Neon was definitely waiting. And yeah, what a ledge trump. And definitely needed to bust out something to get him back into this game just to get him down to this final stock here. But still, I'm hip riding his momentum, man. Look at already 94%. And you know, in this Lee's position, especially at the ledge, I'm hip looking for a conversion into either an S match, but a back air to poke the shield. Yeah, now he's got so much picking on him. Uh, Eon sitting at 124 percent, man. He's gotta, he's gotta get in. He's gotta get this hit. He's expecting I'm, uh, some type of smash attack from Eon. He threw out that shine. You can see a down throw. Not gonna be able to follow up. But a purple Pikmin to stop the ledge trap. When he got that down throw, like all I could think of was like pure football, and I was like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. wrong game, wrong game. <laughs> Oh wait, the whistle and really good air drift change up from my hit. We saw him go to the left, then go to the right, then go to the left. Like he's doing a really good job just mixing up how he lands and where he lands. Speaking of mixing up, Eon's been doing a lot of dash dancing, especially at these like first quarters. There's not enough where uh, I'm him can throw out an up smash and actually connect, but it is staying in his face and letting him know that I can throw out the up smash at any point. That up air hit him. Wow, that was like so far out horizontally. Like that was a huge hit, Boston. Purple Pikmin whip their hair back and forth all yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. Definitely hitting the gym on that one. That's uh, up air really, really strong. And once again, another jump read coming out from my hip, gonna seal that out. And like I said, I just feel like generally throughout this set, I'm hip had a really good feel of when and where Eon was gonna jump. 